the mysterious Madame Blavatsky, psychic or charlatan. So let's get right into it. Madame Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, or HPB to her followers, was a controversial 19th century medium, psychic, author, and co-founder of the Theosophical Society. She claimed to be in contact with the Ascended Masters, and astral beings of great psychic powers who bestowed upon her the ancient secret science of theosophy. The society grew from a modest start in 1875 to become a multinational organization with thousands of members and branches that still exist to this very day. So who exactly was the mysterious woman, chased by controversy and scandal her entire life? Blavatsky was born Helena von Haun in what was then Russia and today Ukraine in 1831. She was raised primarily by her paternal grandparents. At 17, her family married her off to Governor Blavatsky, an imperious man over 20 years her senior. After three months of marriage, she stole one of his horses and left him, keeping his name, however, for the rest of her life. She fled first to Istanbul and later England. At age 20 in London, she claimed to have met an ascended master, a tall, handsome Indian prince named Moria. She says he recruited her on a great mission to help all of humanity. She began to study Eastern mysticism and slowly gained a reputation in England as a spirit medium, claiming both telepathy and telekinesis. In 1868, Blavatsky traveled to northern India and Tibet, where she claimed her master Moria took her to the mythical city of Shambhala, high in the Himalayan mountains. There she met many other masters, astral beings with great psychic powers, including the immortal alchemist, the Count of St. Germain. Blavatsky said the masters bestowed upon her the sacred secret sciences. Now, as one would expect, both suspicion and scandal followed such a controversial person. By now, she claimed clairvoyance and astral projection in addition to her psychic menu. Traveling to Egypt next, she formed the Society Spirit. Helena is described by her associates then as having a fearsome temper and prone to swearing, but also as being highly charismatic and indefatigable. After repeated accusations of swindling and bogus phenomena, Cairo officials forced the society to disband and leave Egypt else face arrest. Unperturbed, Helena simply moved again and took up a craft elsewhere. About this time, it is said she fell in love with a Hungarian opera singer, Agardi Metrovich. Some sources say that through an extramarital affair, she became pregnant and bore a son named Yuri. He was not a healthy child and died at the age of five. Blavatsky would later claim Yuri was in fact Metrovich's child, but not hers. At age 42, she said Master Moria sent her next to America in 1873. Blavatsky's reputation as a spirit medium grew rapidly in New York City as she began writing in various spiritualist periodicals. Spiritualism was hugely popular in the U.S. at the time. She married again in 1878 to Michael Bettinelli, this time to gain U.S. citizenship. Similar to her first marriage, they separated after only four months. She claimed neither marriage was ever consummated and that she remained a virgin her entire life. A year later, she met retired Colonel Henry Steele Olcott, a lawyer investigating the occult, not as a skeptic, but as a believer. 
Blavatsky so impressed Alcott with her psychic abilities and mystical knowledge, they became business partners. Together, they co-founded the Theosophical Society. Theosophy, or divine wisdom, is a mystic philosophy believing in ancient secrets, including cosmic evolution, spiritual planes, and universal religion. She f wrote her first book there, Isis Unveiled, claiming it was copied, not written, with her hand in the astral light. It was reviewed by most newspapers of the day as transcendental nonsense. Nevertheless, the first printing was a bestseller and sold out, helping to spread theosophy well beyond U.S. borders. Blavatsky and Alcott moved the society headquarters to Madras, India in 1878 in order to be closer to the ancient masters. In India, they were less than welcomed by Hindu society, but managed to publish a monthly magazine, The Theosophist. At a shrine built on the roof of their new headquarters, the ascended masters supposedly visited Blavatsky in their higher astral, non-corporeal state. There she could contact the masters daily via her astral writings. British aristocracy in India flocked to her for her sought-after psychic readings. Blavatsky was now 51, and her health began to deteriorate in the intense Indian heat. Meanwhile in London, the Royal Academy had formed the Society for Psychical Research, or SPR, to scientifically investigate paranormal phenomena. Around that time, two Theosophical Society employees in India declared Blavatsky a fraud who used sleight of hand, strings, and trap doors to fool its members. They said the ascended masters were a complete invention of hers with which she duped a gullible Colonel Henry Alcott. The Theosophical Society thus became a target of the British SPR. Colonel Alcott welcomed an investigation in order to defend the theosophy he believed in. Blavatsky, however, saying the Indian climate was causing her health to fail, left India before the investigation began. She would never return. In 1885, the British Society for Psychical Research issued a stinging report. Quote, For our part, we regard Madame Blavatsky neither as a mouthpiece of hidden seers nor a vulgar adventress. We think she is one of the most accomplished, ingenious, and interesting impostors in history. End quote. The SPR considered the masters a Blavatsky fabrication, aided and abetted by her confederates. All her psychic phenomena were various forms of de deception, helped by the credulity of dupes like Colonel Alcott. Well, never one to be slowed by a scandal, Blavatsky carried on, returning to London and with the help of the British Theosophical Society, started a second magazine, Lucifer, or Lightbearer. However, a rift began to form between the C Colonel Alcott, still in India, and the new British branch of the society, led by the famous socialist Annie Besant. In London, Blavatsky finished her second and third books, The Secret Doctrine and The Key to Theosophy. She also launched an attack against Christian churches. She decreed, quote, Only theosophy offered the secret doctrine that lay hidden beneath all earthly religions, both Western and Eastern. The Christian church was the first to make Satan a dogma of their religion. After all, what is the use of a priest if there is no devil? End quote. Needless to say, both clergy and scientists rose up against Madame Blavatsky. 
In the United States, the New York Sun newspaper resurrected the old accusations from Egypt and reported the results of the British SPR. This included a brand new charge of plagiarism. The article stated Madame Blavatsky stole much of the material in her three books from existing Buddhist and Hindu texts. The Theosophical Society promptly sued the New York newspaper, which had this to say of her. Quote, the ingredients of a successful charlatan are having no conscience, some brains, much courage, corrosive selfishness, vainglorious ambition, and monumental audacity. Helena Blavatsky has all of these, end quote. In 1891, Blavatsky came down with a severe case of influenza during a European epidemic. Already suffering from a weak heart, rheumatism, and Bright's disease, she passed away in England on May 8th at only 60 years of age. Her detractors consider her one of the most successful charlatans of the 19th century. Her theosophy supporters believe her to be one of their founding saints. Colonel Henry Alcott remained president of the Indian Society and died in 1907. This was hardly the end, though. The Theosophical Society endures to this day with tens of thousands of members worldwide. Regardless of your personal or religious beliefs, Madame Blavatsky managed to lead an international organization in an age when very few women wielded such power. Say what you will about Blavatsky and her theosophy followers, but if chicanery was her only sin, it pales in comparison to today's modern New Age religions like Scientology.